Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm joined here with Jasper for the intro. Hello. Hello. How are you doing? Is that cute? <laughs> I wanted to let you know that unfortunately Pingu, who is who was my hamster, has unfortunately passed away. He passed away last night, we think. I just found him there last night. And this is purely from old age. He is two and a half years old and I had him for that amount of time. I got him from a pet shop, so that's a, a really good age, I think, for a hamster and I feel like he's had a good life as well so it is a shame and it will be weird him not being around. I wanted to have a little montage in this video with some little clips that will, I don't know, just so we can remember him. <laughs> It. Look at Pingu. <laughs> he just fell off. Oh, that's adorable. Unfortunately, Roxy is not doing very well at the minute. I know I updated you guys a few videos back saying that she seemed to be doing better, and she was. She was acting a bit better, but she's now rapidly losing weight every day. She's losing a lot of weight, and her symptoms are getting worse. So, we're going to the vets today. Here's Roxy right now. You okay, Roxy? I know she's not. She has lost like 30 grams overnight. I'm not even kidding. Nini, don't be silly. Oh. Who's there? Nini, get back inside then. You're gonna be silly. You get back inside, Vinny. He's officially in naughty mode now. Vinny? Oh no, it went in his water dish. Vinny, what have you done to your blanket? It's pulling all this out. Vinny, stop it. Vinny. How cute is this? There's one skinny pig inside the snuggle sack, and then one on top. They finally learned to share, well, sort of. <laughs> so this afternoon, I'm going to be giving this cage and everything inside it a real good clean and disinfect everything because I, well, I am putting his death down to old age to be honest but you never know there may be something else so I'm going to give this all a scrub and make sure you know I can get rid of any germs or anything or any anything which may affect the gerbils <laughs>
Roxy did go to the vets yesterday. I didn't film it because it just didn't feel like appropriate if you go what I mean like because um, they can obviously see that you're filming and it's a bit awkward. So Roxy, they basically gave us some Batril and she's having Batril twice a day. I'm also giving her some like probiotic to help with her like um, keeping the good bacteria basically. I'm currently giving her this mix which the skinny pigs also get. It's just like um, a fatty mix there and she seems to be eating that quite well. She's losing a lot of weight still but you know I've got to keep trying and she has got so much, she's coughing up so much stuff um, and she does seem to have a bit of a nasty infection or something along those lines but we can't quite pinpoint it yet so we're going to see how she goes. If she doesn't improve she'll be back at the vet's on maybe, I don't know what day they said, but we will bring her back if she's still no better. Tea cake? Stop bad chewing. I've been getting on with quite a lot of jobs today. I have just cleaned out all the bowls and everything which I found in the shed. Hopefully this will clear up a lot of space and yeah, I'm just trying to get a bit more organized. So as you can see, there's quite a lot here that I've just done. You can see the guinea pigs are all really settled at the minute. Look at them all, they look so snug. And Roxy and Hazel are sat together, so it's like Hazel's looking after Roxy, which is so sweet. But look at the size difference, Roxy looks so small now. Bless her. At least she's like settled down a bit and, you know, she's sat with the others, which is really good. Bremley's here. You alright, girls? What are you packing at me for? Go chew your bone. He only likes to chew one side, which is funny. <laughs> this is, he's quite happy now. The guinea pigs haven't been out yet today. It's not been very dry, so I thought I'd let them out for a quick run around. If I can get this door open, because it got really stiff. <laughs> there we go. Oh. Oh, I'm so glad Roxy's coming out. She's a lot better today, touch wood, but um, <laughs> I love how they're all running out. Is that all of you? Yeah? Oh, bless them. So we managed to collect some forage tonight, which is really good. So I'm going to go give that to them now. They haven't had it for maybe a couple of days, so... Oh, you're right, sweetheart. Yeah, I'm hoping she'll put her weight back on soon. She's a bit, like, she's not as, um, she's not coughing up as much stuff as she was yesterday. Um, she was in such a state yesterday, I honestly, I was very worried, but we'll see how she goes. Hi, sweetheart. You are right. <laughs> oh, she's weakened as well, which is so nice. <laughs> Hi, tea cake. <laughs> Oh, they're happy now. The rabbits absolutely love the grass because they don't like hay very much. Um, they're very fussy with the hay, so they absolutely love the fresh grass. So it's really good to get it for them. You can come out for a bit as well if you want. Or maybe I'll just feed you in here. So that'd be easier. <laughs> oh. Look at all that. There's so much there. fighting over this bit of dandelion. <laughs> oh, they're both so beautiful. Piper, you've got a bit of grass on your face. <laughs> oh dear, what happened there? What was that about Piper? I'm not sure where Sooty is. He's gonna go nick Milo's. Don't nick Milo's, please. <laughs> Are you up to? Jasper, what are you doing? 
I'm actually so happy to see Roxy like out and eating and stuff. She's been awful these past few days, like especially yesterday. She's been terrible. Um, so it's just nice to see her come out with the others and um, yeah, I don't want to say too much because <laughs> I'm not sure if it'll last. Look at tea cake. <laughs> Look at all these dandelions. They're gonna love that. Jasper, how are you doing? You are ignoring me a minute ago. What are you doing in the shed? Come on. Let's shut the door. <laughs> you know it's getting to like autumn winter when you have to start using the torch again. <laughs> He's chasing the light. What are you doing? What are you doing? Like Jasper, what are you doing? <laughs> Jasper, Hafiz, Jasper, Jasper, Hafiz. You've gone a bit crazy, Jasper. <laughs> What's this? Here are the bum buns. How are you doing? I'm still trying to find a way to fix this up here. I'm thinking of getting some metal brackets so they can't push it off anymore. Look, Big Wig's in his teepee, as per usual. <laughs> what are you doing, Jasper? Mm. Balancing on the shed door. <laughs> Just so you can see. Show off. You're ignoring me. <laughs> <laughs> Watching the world go by. So now for like the first time ever, I'm starting to use newspaper in the hutch. And this is because I've recently switched the bedding to Arbios because of Roxy's allergies. She's really sensitive to dust and numerous things. So started using Arbios and it's just so much better with the newspaper because the newspaper can help with absorbing it. So absorbing like the pee and everything. You look so cosy. Oh, who's that? Is that Roxy? You can probably hear her. This must be Oreo then. Hi. Hello, sweetheart. Oh, you guys look so cosy. You gotta come in. You can just see a cat outline. He's on top of the guinea pig shed now. Anyway, hope you guys have enjoyed this video and I will see you guys soon. This is such a weird outro. <laughs> Bye guys.